today we are going to take a posture of peace and I am going to cover you with prayer. Posture is a short, audible fist bump to remind you God is with you in everything. Together, we're going to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. Okay, I, I'm hoping that I can model something today by giving you just a little bit of background on the preparation of this episode. I'm gonna try to keep a long story short. I really hope I don't bore you with sharing all the details. I'm hoping that it's helpful, especially if you've ever felt discouraged about stepping up and speaking out as a kingdom communicator or just, you know, showing up <laughs> as a kingdom ambassador. You know, the reality is we have, we all, we all have spheres of influence, homes, classrooms, businesses, neighborhoods, social media platforms, and there are just gonna be days when it feels easier to shut down and shut up or show up and just explode instead of bringing life and light through our words and actions. And so, you know, as I was preparing for today's episode, I felt like I had a lot to say about a lot of things. I mean, I was pretty lit up this morning thinking through this episode and preparing but then all of a sudden there was a shift and it felt like my words were inadequate and showing up was not even necessary. It's like, I don't even wanna do an episode. I just felt like the wind was taken out of my sails. And you know, sometimes that feeling of blah, it's just the enemy trying to discourage you from stepping out and speaking up. But I am learning and practicing every day to be sensitive only to the Holy Spirit's leading only to what God is saying. Jesus shared in John 10 about the good shepherd and he said, my sheep know my voice and they follow me and the voice of a stranger they do not follow. And you know, I wanna get to a point personally where I don't even hear the voice of a stranger. I don't even hear the voice of the enemy. And so that's what I've been practicing. I've been practicing hearing only God's voice and it is a practice. It is not an instantaneous thing, but practice, though it is a process, makes permanent. So it is totally worth it. And so when I feel felt like the wind was taken out of my words today when I was preparing, you know, I had a choice to make. I could follow the voice of the accuser into full-blown discouragement and doubt and despair, or I could ask the Holy Spirit for his help to guide me into all truth. And I chose the latter. And the Holy Spirit reminded me you know, the truth is my words are not inadequate. I am not inadequate, I know that. You know, my feelings, though they may feel real, are not my highest level of truth, period. He also revealed to me that what I was feeling emotionally about all the episode prep was actually rooted in what I was feeling physically. I was just tired. I'm a little bit tired, guys. And so I was feeling physically drained and therefore I was dragging mentally and emotionally and getting frustrated with myself. And I'm sure you can relate to that because you know, we've all been tired before. And sometimes when we're tired, we forget we have a helper and we feel alone and therefore we work out of our own strength. And that is exhausting. And so the feeling of my words being, in, you know, that feeling of just being unnecessary and adequate, I believe it wasn't even the enemy. I believe it was my helper giving me a gentle warning and he was saying, hey, you are trying to do all this right now out of your own strength and our agendas for this episode are no longer aligned. And so I received that gentle warning. I, I, I received that conviction and I asked the Holy Spirit, okay, what is your agenda? And I felt led honestly to just trash the episode I had planned and pray over you instead today. The sense I got from the Holy Spirit, I believe that there are many of you listening and watching who have not heard someone pray specifically over you in a while. And the Lord is eager to breathe, breathe his words of life over you today. And he wants you to hear the words of his truth. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pray over you guys. And I encourage you to close your eyes and soak it in as if it were a specific prayer, as if I were standing in the room right now with you praying over you. Father God, great is your faithfulness. I thank you that you are rich in mercy and abounding in love. I thank you that the words you speak, Father, do not return to you unfulfilled, that your word performs your purpose and fulfills the mission you sent for it to accomplish. 
Lord, we will not take your words for granted. We receive your words of life today. And Lord, you say in Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Father, I pray for those whose hearts are feeling tenderized by doubts or rejection, fears, grief, lack, accusations, or pressures. Lord, you are the God who heals hearts and sets people free. So I declare, according to who you are, Lord, that those listening to this prayer right now will be healed and set free. I pray that the oil of joy would be applied to their hearts and minds right now. I pray that you will develop an unshakable trust in you in their hearts right now and that they will be kept in perfect peace. I pray that the desolation that their enemy Satan has sent to discourage them and harm them, you will redeem for their benefit. I pray that what is hidden will be brought to light. I pray that they will rise up in the authority and the power that you have given them and that they will be restorers of desolate people and places. I pray that they will partner with the testimony of what you have redeemed in them and bring restoration to those around them. Holy Spirit, thank you for your help and your comfort. I pray that you will lead them in truth. I pray that the voice of a stranger, the voice of the enemy, they will not even hear. May they see themselves as heaven sees them. And Jesus, we thank you for your empowering grace in our lives. It's because of you that we can pray with such boldness and authority. And so we pray all of these things in your name. Amen. The promise of perfect peace is found in Isaiah 26.3. In Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom, meaning complete wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. This is who you are in Jesus because of Jesus. You are a living testimony of Jesus' ultimate win. With every step you take today, you're putting Jesus' victory on display and Satan's defeat on replay.